and welcome back to Zompocto Creation Series. The Zompocto Creation Series brought to you by Clockwork Highlander. I don't know why I did that, I just did. Today's suggestion comes to us from the GRC who asked the question, what is, and I want to try to, get, this guy's name is weird, but hard to pronounce, um, uh, Yukashiro en, Enishi, or Enishi Yukashiro, depending on the, how you, you know, honorifics and style of speaking. I believe it's, uh, the Yushiro is the surname. So his first name is uh, Enishi. Uh, from Rurouni Kenshin. Now, I believe I have done Kenshin Imura before, but I have not done this character. And these are all the characters I can do, too. He is the primary antagonist of what arc was it? The uh, Jinchu arc. Uh, he is the brother of Kenshin's former wife, who sadly was, if you know, know the story of uh, Rurouni Kenshin, by the way, spoilers, but it's prudent for this. Uh, who was accidentally slain by Kenshin uh, after you know he was attacked by individuals seeking revenge uh, or trying to bring him into justice. I can't remember which which one it was, but ultimately she was accidentally slain by Kenshin's sword. And as the younger brother to her, she he vowed revenge. He usually has a very polite and calm and uh, polite and um, uh, you know um, a, uh, a hold on one second. As well, he's shown the care no less for his dead sister. As a da -da 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 -da. Uh, he usually wears a facade of polite happiness while talking to the six comrades or others he wishes to gain their trust. Though in actuality, he cares little for those around him. He acted he, he acted the same towards Kenshin at first, time despite him. However, his true feelings are soon revealed. He shows himself utterly despised Kenshin with his entire being, wanting nothing more for him to, and to make him go through the same living hell that he himself went through. Um, so basically. Yeah, uh, he's he's a, a quite a unique individual. He's also a very skilled fighter, able to fight on par with Kenshin. Kenshin did ultimately beat him in combat, but still, his skills in swordsmanship and uh, combat are nothing uh, nothing short of uh, dangerous. Uh, he wields a very unique blade too. It is a sword. It, it's um, uh, it is basically a flexible, typical Chinese sword art conjured in conjunction of Wato. Uh, with a Wato, a Chinese-made Japanese Tachi. Now, this is the sword you actually see him wielding in this image. And if I enlarge the image, you can see actually both the Japanese, which is the curved blade of the ta uh, Tachi slash Tanto, or uh, Kodachi, the Japanese blade, but the guard and the tassels are very much more Chinese-inspired. So, it's a very aggressive style he has of fighting, where very little defense, it's all just offense, counterattacking, all that. Uh, now, in terms of what a Zon Pacto vs. character would look like, I actually, now hear me out on this, I actually see him having an elemental type Zon Pacto. Specifically, it's a water type Zon Pacto. Now, the name of the sword, or excuse me, the a sealed state of this would just be a standard katana. That is, and I'm just going to center this image a bit better, uh, that, that I still think is uh, no a no-brainer. The Shikai of the sword, though, would look basically like this, with one alteration, but it would look like this. He's actually got a perfect Shikai for him. Uh, its name, its uh, release would be Sink Down. Its name would be Ame, uh, Ame Akuma, or Rain Demon. And its Bonkai would be called uh, Futo, no, Futo uh, Akiro Ame Kuma, or Ame Akuma, or Boiling Rain Demon. Uh, it, it, this would be one of those Zanpaktos that def, that has a gender juxtaposed to um, to whose spirit is gender juxtaposed to the user. And this would most likely actually be kind of like an eighth Kimpachi scenario where his spirit resembles that of his deceased sister. Uh, though I imagine it looks a bit different. Probably like a different hair color, or maybe it is she's constantly like wrapped in water or something like that, so you don't ever truly see her head on unless you are seeing her in her bonkai form, something like that. But as I said, the shikai would look pretty much the same as this sword does here, with the exception that it is as a water type zanpakuto, I could see a it, it being immediately coated in a just an extra blade of water, and the, uh, that continually collects water particles as it fights. As he moves, he's constantly collecting water particles uh, in the air and just absorbing water in the atmosphere to just have more water on call for him to fight with. Now, this can also be, t this can also be juxtaposed 
not juxtaposed, that's not the word I'm looking for, this can easily be countered, and we can go more into that in the weaknesses, or just striking it can cause the water to disperse, but as long as he's swinging his sword, then the water never really disappears. The added benefit to this, obviously, is that he can manipulate this water blade to his own desires. He can strengthen defense by, you know, water actually has a very powerful defensive uh, capability when you if you ever like impact water you know how hard water can get you can also sharpen the blade he can extend it like a whip he has no need for defense but in a pinch he can maybe just push all the water to the very tip of the sword and create like a, a like a shield but that is very much not his style though he in theory could do it he could maybe fire water bullets i like it it's similar to katara's sword, but Katara's sword actually turned into water, if I remember correctly what I do with Katara. So how do I differ this? Well, it all comes from down to the name of the Bankai, Boiling Water Demon. What I think his actual sword does is not necessarily manipulate water, although it does do that. It's more just having, having, creating a certain amount of water and then gathering more. It's that in Bankai, the, the water starts to boil in his sword and he just kind of does a stabbing into the ground motion before giant geysers. Let's just say six to represent the comrades he had with him. Six is a geysers, uh, and I mean geysers, of boiling, scorching, rip-your-flesh-off hot water are uh, come st uh, boiling out of the, uh, of the ground. And now he's still got his sword, but now it's kind of almost like a Ryujin Jaka looking thing where the water is actually boiling up from his sword. All the while, he's able to manipulate uh, the, wa the boiling water around him. But the catch here is that he can only manipulate boiling water in the state. This is the true power of his sword. Is He's manipulating caustic water that can just burn everything to the ground if he needs to, or burn his opponent engulf he can still drown someone but they just bring them at the same time he can create he can create uh, massive effects uh, like oh, all the boiling water around him it's it, it would be a very unique sound but because no, he's not seen something that's kind of like that where two opposing elements are together which apparently that's not really it's not really something that is doable with zanpakuto allegedly uh, zanpakuto cannot have two opposing elements Unless there's something that connects the two. And I think that's the thing. This thing, this Zanpakuto doesn't control fire. It controls water. But it controls a very specific type of water. Uh, I mean, I, I could see a scenario, too, where he does the kind of Gunryo Maru, um, uh, uh, Sasabiske, Sasabiske, uh, Chojuro's Bankai, Sasabiske. It's, uh, why am I, bl why am I butchering his name? Sasabiske? No. Uh, it's Chojuro. I know that's his first name. The lieut for, former lieutenant of the first division, who ends up it was, be, uh, ends up being one of the first characters, actually the first character to die in the Thousand Year Blood War arc, and to uh, have his bankai stolen. What is his actual name? Hold on. Uh, just because it, I, I'm, I want to say it's Sasabiske, but that's not it. Okay, there it is. It is Sasak Sasakibe. That's it, Sasakibe. That was it. Anywho, so yeah, similar to uh, Sasakibe, who, as we saw in the anime, created the Dome of Lightning, but then connected all the lightning blades into Hyundai his... Alon what the heck? Sorry. Uh, I hate when ads just suddenly chime in like that. Um, so, or he connected all the lightning blades together for one final attack. I could see him having a final attack like that. I could also just see him manipulating the geysers to his heart's content. Like creating like geyser dragon or you know a geyser blade or whatever something like that but um ultimately yeah the weaknesses of this uh, zanpakuto though would would still be very clear in shikai the water on the blade can be disrupted and even though he can manipulate water i think one of the limitations is he can only manipulate water that is touching the blade that's why the but the because the blade is able to draw in water that's close by it that's not usually a problem against someone who's able to dispel his water without issue though that could be a problem he also does need time to build up for stronger water techniques in shikai uh, this is just this is just because it, he doesn't start out with he starts out with maybe a little more water around the blade that gives it makes the blade look thicker that's about it that's still a decent amount to start things with especially with a type of Zanpakuto like this, but he still needs time to build up a substantial amount of water, to be certain. Uh, also, he's still, even though he's manipulating boiling water, it's still water. Lightning abilities are going to be detrimental as hell to this. 
and because water is a natural conducting of electricity. And something like Ryujin Jika, or maybe even Engetsu, allegedly, we don't know how hot Engetsu got, but something like Ryujin Jika could easily make work of this just by evaporating it. Or ice could, in theory, freeze it, but... That's the deba- but that's debatable as we saw with Holly Bell. Uh, she was able, but the problem is Holly Bell actually manipulated water straight out. She didn't just manipulate boiling water. So that is, I think, the difference there is that ice could still with a, it would take a lot of ice and a lot of cold. Ruki is about Zanpakuto, for example, would actually still be good here, but only for that instant moment. Otherwise, if she uses her Bonkai or Shikai and she's misses. That absolute zero is going to crawl up really quick beyond absolute zero and cause her to kind of break apart a bit. Still, I think this would be a very cool type of Zanpakuto. We've yet to see Zanpakuto that kind of figure out a way to combine two elements together. It's kind of a version of fire and water mixing. Uh, another Zanpakuto the idea you could bring up is like steam, although he's not using steam. That's just, I'm just speaking that that's another idea you could try, uh, try and create. Uh, but either way, this is my idea for this Zanpakuto. What do you think? Do you like it? Or would you, what would you do different with this character? Let me know in the comments below. But until then, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And I will see you next time.